Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Pop and Jock Slate here. Back, that was terrible. That was work. There we go, back with another unboxing. And today, I've got something that I've actually been really looking forward to getting my hands on. Now, this sneaker, um, I'm gonna say it now, not all of you are going to love this sneaker. I personally really like this sneaker. I like the way it looked, but it was one of those sneakers where I saw it online, I saw it on sneakers, and I was like, yes, I definitely want that pair, but I definitely wanted to see them in person as well. And since I love to share these experiences with you guys, I figured why not do that right here, right now in front of you guys, so you guys see the sneaker the same time that I see it really for the very first time. So without further ado, let's get right into the box. The shoe that I'm talking about is the Air Max 270, but just not the regular Air Max 270. It is the Air Max 270 Bowfin. Now, for those of you out there, you already know the Air Max 270 was released last year in 2017, and the shoe is a mix of the Air Max 93 and the Air Max 180, and it was technically first called the Air Max 273, but they settled on calling it the 270 based on the air unit that is at the bottom. And if you follow sneakers closely, you'll know that this is the biggest lifestyle air unit Nike has ever created. And here is the shoe. It's big, it's bulky, it's meaty, it's a big quality shoe, and I really love the way this shoe looks. It's different from the usual Air Max 270, obviously, as you can tell. Uh, it has a little more flair to it, I would say, and it's definitely got a little more weight to it. One thing that I just noticed is these are actually a little a little bit heavy um so the reason i really like this shoe is because nike used to have this thing well they still have this thing called nike acg which is a trail or outdoor version of their running shoes now some of the acg stuff push the limits a little further into like the trail running and that sort of style for me personally. I like some of them, but some of them definitely look a little more outdoorsy than I'm usually comfortable with. But when it comes to this shoe, it really blends the two worlds of lifestyle and outdoor in a way that's, I would say, almost perfect for me. I picked this color because of the fall, so I like the browns and the black, so it fits right in with the fall season. And I feel like it's something I could really wear all year long. I don't have to have like these bright colors that's like only a summer or spring thing. I feel like this is something that I can get away with wearing at any certain time. Now, the big fuss about this shoe is obviously the air unit, 200. And 70 degrees is what this is supposed to be. It goes around the shoe, and you see it goes all the way around, and it is mad, mad comfortable. If you have the regular Air Max 270, you already know that these have a ton of cushion inside of them. Has a little cushion here. The cushion goes all the way around here. You can see on the outsole, your foot just kind of rests right inside of that air bubble. And I really love the way these feel. I really love the way these came out. As far as the upper of these goes, you can see that they are a little bit more outdoorsy than your usual Air Max 270. They have the leather here, but then they have the laces tied in a very particular way. And I forgot the name of the Nike shoe that this is actually molded after. It's, um, I can't think of it now, but it's almost like a mix of the air, more money, the way that these strap down onto the tongue and where they strap the tongue down, the air, more money, you can lift the tongue up with this one, you can't. But there's an Air Max shoe as well. I think it's called the Air Maximum, the Nike Air Maximum that has it just like this. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But you see here, they do have an inner booty. It's cushioned, really soft cushioning here at the heel for the heel counter. And then on the inside as well, you can feel that it's breathable. It has like a mesh here. It has, this isn't, although it looks like it's leather here, this isn't leather. This is like a synthetic material, almost like a plastic um, that's on the side here. And that's the same thing here on the inside. I would have loved if they would have made that leather. And none of this is actually leather. It's all based on uh, synthetic, although it does feel like it would be leather when you look at the shoe. For the midsole, nice thick cushioning here. I imagine this is Cushlon or something like that. I don't think it's Lunar, and I don't think that it's React because that's something that Nike would say, but I don't see anything about it um, in any of the literature that I looked up when I looked at this shoe. Uh, it does have the inner booty, so you do slide your foot right in. So technically, you could probably get away with not even lacing these tight. Uh, let's see here. Do have a little bit of give, but if you can rock, you could rock these basically without laces if you wanted to. You could almost go completely laces if you just wanted to take the laces out. 
because the laces are actually sewn to the shoe. So they're not holding up these eyelets. I mean, they're holding up a little bit, but for the most part, they're actually stitched on. And this one goes through the loop of the tongue. So you could probably get away with wearing these without laces if you just wanted to kind of do a slip on sort of style to these. So, I mean, in essence, it's almost a bit of the dad shoe style, but it's an outdoor version of that dad shoe style. And I think that just appeals to me more. It's just not the basic dad shoe, chunky shoe that you see. It has a little more style to it and kind of hides the, the chunkiness with what seems like utility sort of aspects of the shoe. Now, I'm not saying this is a trail running shoe. This is definitely more lifestyle. The 270 is a lifestyle shoe, but I think that was clumsy, but I think I could get away with rocking these, going on a trail, maybe doing a light run or something like that on some trail running or maybe bike riding with something like this. But just my thoughts. Anyway, I just wanna show you guys these because I really, really love these. These are actually sold out. They came in this colorway and there was also a blue colorway that came out as well. Both of those are sold out on Nike.com. I'm not sure if they're available on other sites, but just wanted to give you guys a quick look. These are $160 if you can find them. And uh, I think these are going to be a good look for fall and probably into the winter as well. I feel like I could beat these up and they still look pretty nice. Get a little cleaner on them and clean them up real quick, but otherwise feel like you could beat these up and get through it. Anyway, as always guys, let me know what you guys think about these. Do you like the Air Max 270 Bowfin or are you waiting for something that's even bigger like the Air Max 720? Let me know your thoughts. I am Jacques Slade. As always, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And if you really like what you see, why don't you go ahead and turn on those notifications. As always, guys, I appreciate you, and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.